Welcome to another Audio Face Cubase tutorial. And this week we've had a, an email from a school in Southport and the teachers asked us um, how to import audio files into Cubase and manipulate them. Uh, basically wants to import an audio file and match the tempo of that audio file to the one he's using in the composition and then add effects. So here's how you do it. As you can see here, I already have a drum beat, a basic 4-4 drum beat imported into Cubase. So I'll just play that. It sounds like this. There we go. Nothing special there. But what we're going to do is import into an additional track a uh, sample of a, well, hopefully you'll know it. It's a well-known uh, Coldplay tune called Clocks. So just the piano part of that, we're going to try and merge it into this track and make it fit the tempo. I've no idea what the tempo of um, the piano part is, so this will hopefully be a good demonstration of how to fit it. So the first thing you need to do is right-click in this area and create a new audio track. You want a stereo audio track because it's coming in as a stereo audio file, i.e. MP3 file. So we'll add that. And then we're going to import the piece of audio, which I've already got, it's the whole track, so we'll have to cut it up. Here it comes, audio file. And that's it. Click on that and open it into the track. There it is. Now you'll notice that there's quite a lot of um, not, what, not needed audio before the track starts here. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit that out. Just going to expand that a bit. There we go. So I'm going to edit this out. But the first thing I need to do is, because I want to get right into this this section here and you can see that the, the scissors won't let me cut on this line I need to turn off the snap value here so now I can cut right at the beginning of that audio as close as I want you don't have, have to have it exactly bang on we can do that in a minute okay so you want to get rid of that first part there we go the next thing I need to do is select four bars of the piano part that I want so I'm gonna solo this so I can't hear the um, the drum track that I've got and I want to hear four bars of this piano so I'm going to count this manually and then I'm going to stop and cut it so I know that I've counted for four bars here we go there that's where bar five starts so that's where I'm going to cut it I'm going to zoom in on that so it's easier take the scissors cut roughly there so I know I've got I'm going to get rid of everything else so I know I've got just the four bars. Now we can see here at the beginning, I need to get rid of a little bit more. Let's zoom in right on right onto this. Let's do the proper edit now. Zoom right in on it. Even a bit more maybe. Just get right into the beginning of this piece. That's probably about it. And the end of the four bars, just need to just check that because it has to be exactly four bars long, as close as you can get it anyway. We just need a little bit more there. So where that piano starts into the next bar, we need to get rid of that. That. So let's just get rid of that. And that should be pretty much four bars. Oops. Pretty much four bars long. Okay. So that should be uh, pretty much four bars now. Now what you'll notice is when I put it to the beginning of the track, move it back here, you'll notice that although we know that this is four bars of Coldplay, it doesn't actually reach four bars, which would be the beginning of bar five. It's this much short, which tells us that it's too fast because it finishes before the bar. Okay, so what we've got to do is put the snap back on, make sure the value is set to bar, and we're going to choose from the tools here, we're going to choose the tool that says sizing applies time stretch. And what will happen is we get a little clock next to it, which is funny because the track's called clocks. As you then pull this line, it'll snap to the bar and make it exactly four bars long. And in doing so, also alter the tempo. Now just to prove that that works, Let's play 
from the beginning. Okay, it should all be in time now. So we'll unmute the old done button there. Here we go. And the true test of this is when you loop it, can you hear it looping or not? Let's just see how good it is. successful I'd say okay the final point was how you add effects to that well you do that in the same way as you would add effects to any track you go over to the inspector here and choose insert choose the top slot and we'll put um, a reverb on it we'll make it a big church like reverb so we'll put um, cathedral reverb on it see what that sounds like here we go <laughs> over exaggerate that to make it sound so it's obvious. Good. So there you go. Importing audio, changing the tempo to match your own composition and adding effects. So if you want to get in touch about any Cubase or other technical, musical, uh, GCSE, BTEC type questions, anything at all, get in touch. You can either contact us on our email, info at audioface.co.uk, or via social media, Facebook, which would be facebook.com slash audioface studios. And we're happy to help. Bye for now. <laughs>